Hi guys, I'm Heather with Allergy Family Urban Homesteading. Today, I'll be showing you how you can make this homemade incubator for $35 or less. This incubator is super easy to put together. Here, I already have an incubator that's been put together and have 24 eggs in this incubator. These eggs are about 21 days into incubation period. We're just two days shy of 21 days. And here we even have an egg that's already starting to hatch. Materials you'll be needing are one 17 by 12 by 12 styrofoam cooler with a lid and eight by 10 glass frame a USB desk fan, an indoor humidity and temperature monitor, a salt lamp cord, a 25 watt heat bulb, a thumbtack, a pen or a sharpie, some kind of a knife, here I have an exacto knife, hot glue with your glue sticks. Now that we had traced and cut out an area that our 8x10 glass frame is going to fit in, we're ready to now hot glue our 8x10 glass frame. Now that we have our window hot glued, we are ready to do our lamp cord on one side and then we will then hot glue our USB fan inside of this and do another little hole for that USB cord to come out of. like that here is our incubator I hot glued both inside and outside the frame to make sure it's secure I did the same thing for this fan I hot glued the base 
and where my USB went through, that left a hole. My light socket that I had glued around. And same thing with the outside. All that's left is our meter and our light bulb. recommendations when it comes to using your homemade incubator. Be sure you have some kind of water in your incubator for a humidity of 50 to 80 percent. I use one of these measuring cups that's used for medicine for my water. It holds the water. It sits at the bottom of my incubator which does a good job of keeping my humidity in the 60 percent. And also make sure your temperature is 100.5 degrees in your incubator. If it's anything lower, like mine is under 100.5, I would usually throw a blanket over it to get that temperature back to 100.5. If the temperature is above the 100.5 degree mark, I would move the lid slightly off like that to allow some of that heat to escape. And then once I'm able to get that temperature back down to its requirement, the lid would go back on. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comment down below, like, and subscribe. Have a good day, guys.